So the most common pancreatic diseases uh, is usually either acute pancreatitis, which is an acute inflammation or a sudden inflammation of the pancreas, uh, is probably the most common, what we usually think about. It's usually caused by things like stones that get stuck in the bile duct and block the pancreatic duct as well, or sometimes can be caused by alcohol or even medications. Chronic pancreatitis is the second most usual disease of the pancreas, and that's more of a long-standing inflammation of the pancreas. A typical patient will have pain in the abdomen that sometimes radiates to the back. It's kind of a gnawing pain that usually doesn't go away. Sometimes they have weight loss or diarrhea. Probably the most feared complication of the pancreas is pancreatic cancer. Uh, we see that frequently. Patients usually present uh, with painless jaundice. And painless jaundice means the patient has no pain in their abdomen, but they will notice that their skin or the whites of their eyes are yellow, or sometimes that their urine is dark. So usually we diagnose pancreatic diseases first by taking a history and oftentimes the patient will have jaundice, occasionally pain, but usually jaundice. And then we get some sort of imaging, usually a CT scan or an MRI. And then we look and see if there could potentially be a mass in the pancreas or some other abnormality of the pancreas.